Hello everyone, this is Manish from Domsky and the session is on Forms Pro. As we know, Forms Pro is the online survey and feedback tool from Microsoft, which is similar to VOC. And VOC is deprecating on 1st of July, and that's the reason most of us are switching to Forms Pro. Even though it has some limitation compared to VOC, but it is a wide decision to choose uh, Forms Pro due to its connectivity with the Power Platform family. Typically, there are three types of surveys. One is personalized survey, an ominous survey, and not so famous partial an ominous survey. That is converting an ominous survey to personalized using the variables. We will go through the difference between all these three, starting from personalized survey. So, what is personalized survey? Personalized survey is the one where we know who is the recipient and we can design our form such a way that we can pass some variables with the information of a recipient. When the recipients open the survey, he can see the relevant information related to him, like his name, his case number, his phone number or email ID. So how the personalized survey works? The same example we will take, a case is approved, our system is triggered, it can be a power automate or plugin, which creates an invite. Invite is, survey invite is just a unique token link which identify the recipient and when the recipient open that link he sees his relevant information with the form when he submits it our system receives a response when the system receives the response it is linked with that particular unique invite we sent and that can be associated with our original trigger that is our case so this is the small cycle of personalized survey the main content are survey invite surveys, variables, and the response. We will go through the demonstration on how to create a personalized survey, how to use variable and distribute the survey. We will also go through the entity structure in CRM that how Forms Pro of Office 365 is directly connected with Dynamic 365. Next is an ominous survey. So by the name itself is quite clear. So when the survey is sent and ominously, where the recipient is unknown to the system and can be distributed with the anonymous method like website, QR code or emails. So how anonymous survey works? So same way we had an example where the case was resolved and survey invite feature was used. So we have marketing team here who has list of email. If they use the survey invite feature to track down the recipient that is personalized survey where survey invite contain party list and regarding field which map the person who is getting the, the survey and on which entity that survey was triggered. But whereas in anonymous survey, the anonymous method like QR code, website and direct link were used and there was no invite in the CR. And whenever we get the response, it will not be attached to a trigger or the survey invite. Although we can map that particular response to a record like you can create a lead or contact through that survey response. Here is an example. We have used this particular anonymous survey as a contact us form on our website where anyone without a login can come to the contact us, can fill up this form and we can get the response in CRM. That response will be considered as anonymous because we don't have the information who is filling up the form. Only except from the information which he fills on the form itself. We will also go through the demonstration that how an ominous survey is created and how they are distributed and can be embedded onto a website because embedding into the website required little bit of work. Otherwise, QR code and link can be used on the email. So our third survey is partial an ominous or the converted personalized survey. By converted personalized survey, what we mean, we are using an ominous survey and passing some variable which can help us for tracking the recipient or the information of the recipient if the recipient in the system or the recipient have some session ID attached to it. For an example, our anonymous survey has two type of variable that is the recipient email address and the source. These two can be attached at a, as a parameter onto the survey URL. Whenever we receive a response, we will have an attached variable values onto the response. To understand more about this type of surveys, we have a flow here where we have added two variables onto our anonymous survey. One is the recipient and the source. 
and on the on the anonymous survey link we have attached recipient and survey as a parameter when a recipient get that link onto his email address that is abc at the redomsky.com and he fills the form he enters the email field as one two three that is this and the recipient parameter was abc at the domsky.com and source was email so through these three values we can identify who was the recipient what was the field value and is this recipient exists in our crm or not and also can get the source is the source website or the email so this way we can convert our anonymous survey as a personalized survey because we can track who was the recipient what was the source and if if we want to add the session id itself that can also identify if one session was filled twice or thrice because session id would be static and the person can fill up the form multiple times we have this particular flow to understand difference between all these three surveys when a survey invite is used it is a personalized survey when we don't use the invite and no variable are used it is purely an anonymous survey and when we use a variable to track down the recipient or session id or the source of the survey then it is partial anonymous or you can say converted anonymous to a personalized survey we will go through how to create a converted anonymous survey how to pass the parameters and how to get the response in crm from the contest data of this response there would be more tips and tricks how to migrate from voc to forms pro like mapping survey response into lead or contact or setting the variable sending the invite and creating an invit invitation what's the difference between both how to embed the uh, anonymous survey onto the website or get the source is it from the website or the email so this is all for this particular video next video would creating and personalized survey anonymous survey and the converted personalized survey thank you